Food and homes, cuisine and dreams. In the last series, we whet our appetite for the Dolce Vita by touring cities and landscapes across Salento. Now I'm taking you to another iconic area in Puglia, La Valle d'Itria. And we're starting in Ostuni, perhaps Puglia's most fashionable town, where we'll tour two dream homes for two different budgets. Andiamo. Finally made it to Ostuni, the white city, perhaps one of the most fashionable towns in southern Puglia. Let's go check it out. Ostuni stands monumental, overlooking olive groves and the Adriatic Sea. Entering inside its ancient stone alleyways, you'll be struck by its charm. Everything is painted white. It has a population of 30,000 and, importantly, it's a foodie's heaven. But more on that later. If you dream of visiting or living in Ostuni, you're not alone. It is arguably Puglia's most in vogue cities at the moment, which is why I had to come and see its highlights firsthand. Let's start at the highest point in the city, the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta, with its 15th century Gothic facade in a clear Apulian style. It claims to have the biggest rose window in Italy, and some claim in the world. Directly across in the square, you have Arco Scopa, a monumental bridge uniting the Bishop's Palace to the seminary, inspired by Ponte dei Sospiri in Venice. If you want to move to Ostuni, get your sunglasses because it's an extremely bright city. Everything is painted white in lime, and uh, that's for historical reasons. One was during the bubonic plague, lime helped disinfect the walls and the city. Second, to light up the alleyways, which are very tight, and which don't receive a lot of sunlight light. So the reflections keep it nice and, and lit up. And the third reason was to uh, stop the invaders uh, from being able to overtake the city very easily. It's extremely hard to look up. And in medieval times, they didn't have these amazing sunglasses. So I'm in Piazza della Libertà, and this isn't just a square, it's the square. It's the main meeting point of everybody at Ostuni where you have the beautiful column of Santo Ronzo and this gorgeous palace with the church of San Francesco behind me. Next stop, breakfast. My first treat is the sfogliatella. <laughs> Messy, but delicious. Next up, we're going salty. Forno Trentuno, a historical bakery with an oven from the 15th century. Its arched walls are lined with baked goods and you're greeted to an amazing aroma when you walk in. It was rated one of the best bakeries in Ostuni and I can definitely see why. No place to eat in the bakery, so we'll eat in the city park. We have focaccia alla cipolla. This is a, a focaccia with olives stuffed with onions. It was supposed to be a mini one, but it's massive. You're not supposed to eat it like this. Gorgeous. It's so good. I'm just gonna have a few bites. This is probably gonna be my afternoon snack tomorrow. <laughs> Now it's time for a proper lunch, and I chose Il Posto a Fianco, in the heart of the historic center. For my entree, eggplant parmesan. A classic, you can't go wrong with this. Fried eggplant stuffed with mozzarella cheese, tomato topped with parmesan cheese. And the main dish is troccoli, homemade spaghetti pasta with zucchini flour pesto, almonds, basil, and two prawns. This was really, really good. So 
So here it is, the famous Panzerotto. And I got it with mozzarella and cima di rama. Everyone who has invested in a home in Italy has their own reason for doing so. Some for the lifestyle, some to invest, or some to save on their retirement. But there is one thing that they all hold in common. They understand the value in owning their own piece of history and art. The sponsor of today's video, Masterworks, also offers a totally unique way of investing in art, and allows you to potentially protect and grow your wealth. Until recently, you'd need millions of dollars, or art world connections. But with Masterworks, you can invest in fractional artworks from renowned contemporary artists, such as Picasso, Monet, Banksy, for just a fraction of the cost of an entire painting. In 2022, while other assets struggled, the art market had its richest auction season of all time. So it's easy to see why so many investors are turning to fine art as a part of their holdings. Thus far, Masterworks has distributed the net returns of 45 million worth of art. Each of their 14 sales thus far have turned a net profit to their investors. So it's understandable that over 750,000 people have signed up. Financial analysts are predicting the global value of art to grow by one trillion in the next two years. So demand is growing by the day, but my subscribers can skip the wait list and get started today. Just click the link in the description. Okay, so I'm heading to house number one. It's right on the street. Let's see if the agent's there. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Good to see you again. So what do we have here? So I'm showing you today this beautiful townhouse located in the heart of Ostuni. Now you can see this shutter here, as well as all the green shutters. You can see just how far down it stretches. 110 square meters of property here. So a lot of property we're showing you, and obviously a stunning roof terrace with views over Ostuni. Let's go in. So this very historical building is located on the street which leads to the city park in one direction and the main square in the other. We enter into the kitchen, which is extremely spacious. You have a gorgeous barrel vaulted ceiling. You'll see throughout that the building has essentially not been touched over the years. It's been very well kept, but all of its historical features are intact. However, there are modernizations which will have to be done, and we'll see those throughout our tour. One thing about this kitchen, which is, which I find to be rather cute, are the stairs going up to the kitchenette. It is small by modern standards, but being a, a historical home in Ostuni, it's actually pretty sizable. You do have this little fireplace, which is usable and was used historically and gorgeous tilings along the walls. To the other side, we have the stairs going upstairs, and this is the window that we saw from the street downstairs, going in either direction, the park or the main square. But we will head upstairs. The house fits in very well with the rest of Ostuni with the walls painted very white. Everything you can see is very old stone, very well kept. And we enter into what will be the first living room. Massive ceilings. The whole area is very, very spacious. And we can see through the other living spaces, which we'll go down next. In terms of square meters, 110 is a lot. And you also have the high ceiling, so it's very voluminous. Uh, and one thing that does have to be renewed is the bathroom. This is the only bathroom the whole, whole building has, and it is rather small and old. But this is the solution that the owner found um, for a building which perhaps originally didn't have a bathroom. A lot of these old buildings weren't equipped with one. But we will uh, go in through the next doorway to see the main living room. The building receives a lot of light from the front windows, and this room is very pleasant to be in. It has a nice fireplace. It's well decorated. Uh, I really enjoyed being in this space while I was here. If I could describe the feeling that I got from it, it was authenticity. This is a really authentic Italian Apulian home, which hasn't been touched, but 
rather has been kept in extremely good condition. This is another excellent living space. It has star vaulted ceilings with the revealed stone. Really massive. This could be your second bedroom if you close it off. I'll have one last look back before we go into the main bedroom, the master bedroom, right behind us. It is a tad bit darker since we couldn't open the shutter during our visit. But again, a really elegant space, well maintained. They revealed the stone in this room as well. So we have the star vaulted ceiling. These old stone homes give you the impression that you're living in a castle. It's a really special feeling when you're in a space like this. And I always enjoy seeing new homes. So we'll head back out. All the way through each one of these rooms. They do come with air conditioning. I did forget to mention. And we'll head up the stairs. And this will lead us to the terrace, which is a very special space. It gives us an excellent view of the historical center of Ostuni, which we'll see in just a few seconds. Now, the property doesn't extend to the full length of this terrace, but it does extend a good amount out, corresponding to the rooms below, of course. You have a lot of space to work with, and it's picturesque. You have views of the rooftops all around you. As you can see, the historical center of Ostuni up on the hill is right in front of you. So it is a gorgeous space, and it's a very unique feature, I think, of this property. I loved being up here. By the way, the price of the house is in the description below, before I forget to mention. So you can also see there the, the column of Santo Ronzo in the main square, which we saw before. Wow, man, the, uh, the view from up here is awesome. And Ostuni is just gorgeous and it's, it's all the rage, isn't it? I'm reading about it in magazines and Madonna had her birthday here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, funny you'd say that. She's actually had uh, three of her birthdays here. And uh, look, it's easy to see why Ostuni is perched up on top of a hill. So from Ostuni, we've got these beautiful views from the sea. It's like a 10 minute drive to get down to the sea. But the other thing is actually driving up to Ostuni you kind of see this town perched on top of this hillside and it kind of ends up looking like a cake, right? And then especially at night, you've got the lights going around it. It's really like a birthday cake. Gorgeous. It's, it's like Gondor in Lord of the Rings, this white yeah. citadel up on a hill. Exactly. It's epic looking. Exactly. <laughs> People are taken by, back by it because it's obviously a place which isn't that well known still. Uh, and it's absolutely stunning from all angles. So yeah. Let's go check out uh, house number two. Let's do it. So this is our palazzo, located on one of the most chic avenues of Ostuni leading to the main square. So it is a ground floor building, but it's raised as we see as we walk in. It's very big, very voluminous. And to the right, we have what's being used currently as a studio, which overlooks the elegant avenue in front of us. So heading back across the studio, we enter into the living room. Again, very high ceilings, star vaulted with great details on the columns. All the rooms are very luminous. We have big windows and big doors, which have been well-maintained and painted over the years. The floors are the original floors as well. And we'll head into the interior room, which is the dining room, but it also does have a window from the other side of the building. We'll see there in the back, that was the entrance, just to give you an idea. Star vaulted ceiling, like in the rest of the structure. There is heating in all divisions of the property as well. The structure kind of speaks for itself. It's very elegant, very spacious. The floors are in excellent condition. And we'll head into the two bedrooms in the back here. This is bedroom number one, 
Very high ceiling once again, star vaulted. And head to the other bedroom, which is to the left here. Obviously the studio as well could be converted into a bedroom if, uh, if desired. Once again, really luminous uh, with big windows, very high ceilings. Really an, an impeccable structure kept in excellent condition by the owners. And I'm personally a fan of the antique furniture. I think it fits very well in a historic palazzo like this one. And of course, everyone will have their own uh, taste and their own preference in terms of uh, furniture. So we will head back out this way. And we're going to go into the kitchen. This goes towards the front of the building, like the studio on the other end of the entrance. And the kitchen has all the original equipment. It is a very spacious room, very big. Can be used also as a dining room. But this will probably be one of the areas that you would want to renovate. Once again, uh, I'll look out there onto uh, Corso Mazzini, the, uh, the street that we're looking over. You will probably want to renovate this kitchen, although it is perfectly usable and livable the way it is. Now we're going to head back out this way, just to kind of refresh your memory as to the structure of this building. I haven't put up the map, but I think it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. And we're going to head to the back here because this is where we have our bathroom. This is another space which is rather basic, though functional. It can be renovated or it can continue to be used as is. There is nothing wrong with it. And bedroom number three in the back here. The, the smallest of the bedrooms, which isn't saying much because the other two are gigantic. This one also has a balcony looking out to the other side of the palazzo. So you do get a lot of light coming in through here. That door was closed. <laughs> but uh, we are heading to the back here to go up and see the terrace. So this is a gigantic structure and it can be converted to other uses. It can have more bedrooms. It can have up to five bedrooms if you wanted to convert that big living room and the studio into bedrooms. So you do have a big amount of flexibility in terms of rearranging or using the property to how you see fit. So to the right, you do have a little covered space. And the rooftop is big. You have nice views onto the avenue in front of you. To the back, you have the historical center of Ostuni with the view of the cathedral. To this side, you have views of the Adriatic Sea. And again, to the avenue going towards Piazza della Libertà, the main square. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I really hope you enjoyed visiting Ostuni with me and seeing these two amazing properties.